This is the same project as last time. I'm going to start adding in some player movement, and also I'm going to make so that movement could be controlled via a controller. I'm going to start with input mapping. If you don't know what input mapping is, you go to your project, project settings, click on input mapping. Now if you scroll down, we're going to focus on the movement. So UI left, UI right, UI up, UI down. So if we left, you just click add. I like to add a key for the keyboard, in this case A, if we left. That way you can move with WASDA. I'm also going to add a joystick axis. There's also the controller D-pad, and this will let you move with that set directions, but if you want to move with the joystick, this won't work. So I'm going to add that in, and I'm going to add a joystick axis, and it's going to be axis zero, left stick, left. So that's going to be the left stick of the two, and moving left. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm going to add a key, D, for right, and then joystick axis, stick right, up, a key, W for up, joystick axis, so now that we have all those mapped out, we can start working on the program. So I'm going to hop in here and let's go ahead and add a few variables. I'm going to start with an acceleration and a max speed. I like the acceleration to be relatively high, that way it has movement that feels like you have direct control over it. And usually the max speed in this case is going to be a lot lower. So inside the physics process, we're going to have an input variable vector. Now we're going to want to change the x and y axis of this vector based on what they're inputting. So we're going to do input vector dot x. So normally I would do input is action pressed, but because we're going to use a controller, it's going to be the get action strength. That way if you're pushing all the way to the right or a little bit to the right, it's different. So we're going to do get action strength minus input dot get action strength. So the UI right is going to be minus by the UI left and this will give us our X. So we're going to do the same thing but for up and down. We're, we're then going to normalize the input And then we're going to change the velocity based on the input. Velocity plus equals input vector times acceleration times delta. Oh, we need a velocity. Our velocity equals two zero zero. So we're going to take that velocity, and then we're going to do velocity and set the max speed equals velocity dot clamped max speed so this is going to make so you can't move faster than the max speed now if we do a move and slide that will allow us to move with these but there's going to be an issue the character is not going to stop we're going to need some sort of friction to add and also on that if you hit a wall you get built up momentum, you need to cancel out your momentum before you could start moving in the opposite direction. So to cancel out the momentum, that's pretty simple. So you set velocity equal move and slide velocity, and that's gonna make so when you hit a wall, your velocity gets canceled out. And we can check if they aren't moving, add friction. So if input vector is not equal to vector two, no, if it is, if it is equal to vector 2 of 0, 0, so basically if there is no input, then we want to change the velocity equals velocity linear input vector 2, 0, 0, 
and then some sort of friction. So we're gonna add a bar friction. And this friction is gonna be something relatively low. I find 0 0.2, 0 0.25 to be a good area for this one. So friction. And this is gonna make this a bit closer to this based on this friction. And there you go, our guy stops afterwards. And also, this actually only needs to be called if the input is not, or if the input is, yeah. So else this. And we could go ahead and move around. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the controller really quick and test that. Okay, controller is connected. I'm moving with the joystick and I have free momentum or free rate of my movement. I could also move with the D-pad, but that's more set on what direction I can move in. Hopefully this tutorial was able to help with top-down movements if you want. Link to Discord is in description if you have any questions for me or you just want to reach out to me.